Hey guys, it's Van Railer. Um, we're back again at New York Penn Station. I'm here to show off the first edition of the Sound and Physics mod for the North Jersey Coastline ALP 45 DP and Associated Comet Coaches. Um, I'm not going to be adhering to a schedule. And there are a lot of things that I need to test, so we're just going to go ahead and depart here. My lights on. Lights. Lights are not on. H. H. There you go. Um, for the sake of demonstrating this test, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave uh, the cab signaling off. I will turn the instrumental lighting on. So. Some of you might have noticed before that there are new traction motor sounds. That I can't really demonstrate right here because we're in a 15 mile an hour uh, restricted zone. So I'll demonstrate those after we get to probably Secaucus Junction, I'm thinking. I managed to fiddle around with the horn code so that you hear it better now. Yeah, so the volume is a bit better on the horn. I'm speeding, but who gives a crap? Uh, I think I demonstrated this, but yes, there is simulation of the cab insulation. demonstrate a, a crossing sequence uh, when we leave the tunnel portal on the other side. So let's get to the other side of the tunnel first. was talking about. Oh, we can't get there yet. Alright, so... I'm probably gonna cut this section out. Okay. Alright, we'll set up right here.
Uh, okay, so let's see where we are with this. One. I don't know what else I want to demonstrate, honestly. I think I should demonstrate the difference between the power in electric mode and the power in diesel mode. So I think I'll do a, a pure acceleration in electric mode for short, for I guess up to 50 miles an hour, and then I'll do the same in diesel mode up to 50 miles an hour. And you can compare to see when the power drops off. Um, there is a noticeable difference. If it's coded correctly, then in electric mode, the amps will start to drop off sharply around 33 miles an hour, and in diesel mode, it should start to drop off sharply starting around 22 miles an hour. So we're going to test that now. Uh, but before I test that, I want to show off the, the door sounds. So I'm going to open the doors. a bit loud, but that's the best I could get from my own recordings. So doors are shut. Uh, Alright, so keep an eye on the ammeter. Uh, like I said, we're in electric mode, so that should drop off sharply around 33 miles an hour. Remember, the amps are set up where the first two numbers are... It's basically, if it reads 60, 650 amps, it means the locomotive is putting out 65,000 pounds of tractive effort. So that's how you read this. So we're still holding steady. It should start dropping around 33. 33 and a half. There we go. See, it starts dropping faster now. That means we have this value functioning properly in electric mode. So we're going to see what the value says at 50 miles an hour flat. So at 50 miles an hour, we're pulling just about 402, 403 amps, which translates to about um, uh, 40,200 pounds of tractive effort. So now we're gonna stop the train. I'm gonna do a mode change. Uh, this time, hopefully the mode change shouldn't be instantaneous. There should be a bit of a delay in the mode change. I don't know why there wasn't a delay when I, I was running the full run to Bayhead last time, but I tested it again on the Northeast Corridor and there was a, a substantial delay in the actual mode change. So we're gonna try it now. Alright, we have a full service. I'm gonna hit the fall reset. Let's actually open this so I can get a good sound sample of the mode change. Okay, that's really odd. It apparently the mode change works properly when I'm not running the equipment on the uh, on the North Jersey coastline, but when I'm running the equipment on the North Jersey coastline, the mode change seems to be instantaneous. I think it's, there, there might be something wrong with the root coding that's causing it to do that, but this definitely does not, the mode change is not instantaneous when I'm testing it on the original Northeast Corridor, like if I'm coming out of Trenton and stuff. So it, I don't know what the situation is there, but that's probably something that needs to be looked into. So. Whatever, uh, instantaneous mode change aside, let's look at the power reduction in diesel mode. Um, like I said, if the power reduction works as it should, the, the tractive effort should start to drop sharply at around 22 to 23 miles an hour, as opposed to dropping off at tw uh, 33 miles an hour while in electric mode. So let's test that out.
Guys, we're holding steady at 20. Should we drop in? Drop, drop. Good. It drops right between, right around 23 miles an hour. That's good. Um, we're going to check to see again what the amp rating is at 50 miles an hour to compare. Alright, so at 50 miles an hour, our amp rating is 282, which means the locomotive is putting out 2,800... Okay, 28,200 is 28,200 pounds of tractive effort at 50 miles an hour in diesel mode. That's compared to 40,200 pounds of tractive effort in electric mode. That is a significant difference and shows you that the the power reduction scripting in this locomotive works as it is intended to work. Um, I'm gonna put this thing back in electric mode real quick. So to do that, I just hit P. So uh, once again, the mode change is instantaneous. It should not be instantaneous. There should be at least a 90 second delay from when you hit the mode change button to when you are able to operate the locomotive in the mode that you're switching into. So, so yeah, that is an issue that is present in the when you're operating this locomotive on the North Jersey coastline. I will test again on the regular NEC just to make sure that 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 issue is not present when I'm operating this equipment on any other route. But I'm pretty sure this is a route specific issue that we're experiencing here. So just bear just uh bear with me for a minute. Now we're gonna demonstrate the traction sounds now. Um, just let you listen to them. And then I want to bring it up to the curve right before Harrison to get a good screenshot for the for the actual mod release.
Alright, so that's what the traction motor sounds sound like uh, in the mod. Let me bring this up further along the curve so we can take that screenshot. That seems good enough. Let's see. Mm, I like it better with the sunlight, so let's do it right here. All right, looks good to me. Um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna continue to work on this stuff and see if I can get some, some more. Pro uh, get some more progress through on fixing some of the issues that are coming up uh, with the DLC. There's nothing really much I could do about the F40 uh, PH-2 cat on for now. A lot of that, the issues that are coming up with that DLC is scripting issues. So there's not much I can do about that. But I will bring it up to DTG support and hopefully they can look into it um, even though I've brought it up multiple times now. So, bear with me, and, uh, hope you enjoy the content. Until next time, see ya!